What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at the English and Arsenal legend, David Seaman. Now guys, like I said in my previous video with Peter Schmeichel, which I will link down below, this is the second out of uh, five goalkeeper legend reviews that I will be doing in a row, so you can go ahead and look and compare those. Um, David Seaman, guys, in that, obviously the same team ahead of him, like I described in the last video. Let me just first start off by saying this dude has an awesome ponytail and mustache in this game. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, honestly. Um, but Seaman didn't play too bad for me. Uh, he's not the best legend goalkeeper, in my opinion, um, but he isn't too shabby in net. Uh, this team, when he was playing, played very, very, very well. So that did help him out a little bit, but were there some games where he didn't play as good as he probably could have? We're now going to go ahead, guys, though, and look at his face card stats. 78 diving, 90 handling, 93 kicking, 85 reflexes, and 50 speed, and 88 positioning. He has a three-star weak foot, one-star skill move, and the traditional save technique. Obviously, didn't score any goals uh, with him. But assists are definitely possible with Seaman because this guy has quite a boot on him, and I will get into that a little bit later. But he does have the best kicking, I believe, of every keeper in the game except for uh, Team of the Year, Neuer. So this guy can really provide great counterattack, and that is one thing I really liked about him. He also has good handling and positioning. Obviously, the traditional save technique, uh, these are the stats that you're going to see the highest. Um, so Seaman wasn't too bad, guys. He's definitely a reliable keeper in net, just probably not the best legend. But we're now going to get into the highlights with the pros and cons for David Seaman, guys. So we're going to go ahead, guys, and get right into some highlights and take a look at the pros and cons for David Seaman. My first pro for this card, one that can play to your advantage with Pacey Strikers, is David Seaman's kicking. An astonishing 93 besides the newly released Team of the Year Neuer, Seaman has the best boot and can definitely be used as a weapon for counterattack. I'm not the biggest fan of Seaman, honestly, but he can definitely get the ball downfield for your attackers to chase and provide some sort of offense, something pretty cool to have for a keeper. My second pro for his card is his handling. Like I said in his previous video with Schmeichel, uh, you'll see that the stat differences between acrobatic goalkeepers and a traditional one. Uh, Seaman has all the positive qualities of a traditional keeper. Like his kicking, he actually has the highest rating of any keeper besides Team of the Year Neuer, again, with his handling. Uh, with any balls kicked uh, face high or lower, you can definitely expect Seaman to secure the ball with ease. A great attribute for any keeper to have. My third pro for this card is his positioning. Uh, like I said, guys, Seaman has all the traditional keeper qualities. Uh, he ranks in the top 10 for keepers in the game in positioning and is usually in the right places to make the key save for your team. Positioning is vital for any keeper. I mean, Seaman does a pretty good job of keeping himself well positioned uh, throughout the game. Now, I do have two cons for Seaman, and they're pretty big ones. One that I felt definitely affected my gameplay with him. I mean, the first one is his diving. With only a 78 diving rating, uh, the next lowest legend being 6 ahead of him, 78, is even bad for a gold keeper, honestly. Um, really, and honestly, not many rare goalkeepers have under 78 diving. Or at 78 diving, for that uh, matter of fact. Uh, this was Seaman's biggest setback, in my opinion, and there were definitely shots that could have been saved where Seaman's diving just wasn't good enough to get to it. My second con for Seaman is his speed. Uh, this is going to be a crucial factor for me in every goalkeeper review. In my opinion, it is vital uh, that a keeper has a good speed um, because pulling your keeper out to put the pressure on the attacker is a huge part of this game in FIFA. Uh, Seaman really lacks his speed and isn't useful in pulling out. You're better off just keeping him in net and uh, hoping the attacker misses or Seaman can make a save. So this is now going to take me into the summary for David Seaman, guys, and I believe that out of a 10 scale rating, he deserves an 8 out of 10. Uh, his kicking, handling, and positioning are all really great, uh, but he is let down by his diving and speed, two of the more important tributes, in my opinion, you need uh, for a successful goalkeeper in FIFA 16. His pros and cons are listed as well as his games played, uh, clean sheets, goals against average, and save percentage. His stats really aren't too shabby, but I feel... Uh, I, like feel wise, I just wasn't a huge fan of Seaman. Probably why he is the cheapest legend uh, goalkeeper out there. Uh, so if you do have enough coin to pick him up, I mean, you can pick him up. He's not going to be bad in that, but he won't be the best legend goalkeeper for you. So up next from my review, guys, I am going to review the Dutch legend Edwin van der Sar, um, and then we'll only have Baya and Lehman left after that. Keep requesting legends, guys. Like I said in my last review. Uh, the much-requested Futra and Effenberg will be out right after these goalkeepers. I appreciate all the love and support, guys. We are nearing in on 100,000 views, uh, which is just crazy, in my opinion. The subscribers keep growing. I love it so much. Thank you, thank you, guys. 
As always, appreci uh, feedback is appreciated. If you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.